the Shandong Music Trail celebrates the rich history of the valley's traditional music makers. Along the music trail are the best musicians playing music as a way of life. Are you a musician or listener seeking an authentic Appalachian music experience? Come explore the valley's musical roots. We offer multiple driving loops with live music, insider excursions, and a variety of safe accommodations. The musical experience of a lifetime awaits. Come explore the Shandong Music Trail. Don't forget your instrument. Closed captioning for this program is sponsored by the Stanton Lions Club. Welcome to the show. We're here today at the Frontier Culture Museum in Stanton, Virginia. Yeah, this is our first show from here, so we're excited about that. And we're also excited to have our friend Mark Campbell start us off with a little fiddle music today. Mountain Music Show, recorded right here in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley in our studio at the Frontier Culture Museum in Stanton, Virginia. Hosted by the internationally acclaimed music duo, Me and Martha. We hope you enjoy the show. Now, here are your hosts, Martha Hills and Don DePaul. If I truly live it over, only walk in brand new shoes, just lay down a clover, only work on Christmas Day, all the rest go sporting. Spend my days out by the creek, every night go courting. Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain, sugar from the sugar cane, morrows of the mountain. Home sweet home, it makes my eyes grow misty. Papa singing gospel songs, Mama sipping whiskey. Whiskey from that old oak barrel, sure to make good liquor. Makes the night seem twice as bright, the days go by much quicker. Honey from the honey comb, water from the fountain, sugar from the sugar cane, waters of the mountain. Pickup truck, I'd fill it up with water. Paint a catfish on the side, make believe I caught her. Drive it slowly down the road, try to keep from bumping. Park it down beside the creek, watch those fish come jumping. Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain, sugar from the sugar cane, waters of the mountain. If I had a new made quilt, I'd fill it up with feathers. Take my sweetheart by the hand, just lay down and gather. Oh, those nights when I was young, thoughts keep returning. Drive the winter nights away, just like a wildfire burning. Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain, sugar from the sugar cane, waters of the mountain. Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain, sugar from the sugar cane, waters of the mountain. Mm. 
little wild rose of the mountain, Martha. That's a good job. That's a great song. Great song. Next song we're going to do is one of my favorite tunes. It's an old time string man song called Black Eyed Susie. Now, Black Eyed Susie has been around for a long time. If you go to any of the dances around this area, you'll hear it at the dances. Yeah, it's a whole great tune. It goes like this. The other night I went to town and met this little girl named Susie Brown. Eyes were dark, her hair was brown, and that little girl, she laid this man down. Hey, pretty little black-eyed Susie, hey, pretty little black-eyed Susie, hey, pretty little black-eyed Susie, hey. Now Susie and the boys were blackbird picking, Susie got drunk and the boys got licked. Some got drunk and some got boozy, but I went home with the little black-eyed Susie. Hey, pretty little black-eyed Susie, hey, pretty little black-eyed Susie. Hey, pretty little black eyed Susie, hey, I'm a big one. One named Sam, one named Davy, one loves ham and the other loves gravy. Hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey. I said now, hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey, for little black eyed Susie, hey. And we'll be right back after these words. Stick around. This week's Spotlight Showcase features master fiddler and banjoist Mark Campbell, who started playing music in his hometown of Waynesboro. Welcome to the show, Mark. Hello, I'm Mark Campbell, and I'm happy to be invited to play on Don and Martha's Mountain Music Show of the Shenandoah Trail. I'm from Waynesboro, so I'm very interested in all the music, musicians and music that we have up here in the Shenandoah Valley. So uh, I'd like to play a few fiddle tunes and a banjo tune that we learned from people in and around the area. So first tune I'd like to play is Waynesboro, since I'm from Waynesboro. tune from uh, the Hammonds family up in uh, Marlinton, West Virginia, and uh, it's only 10 miles across the border over there in West Virginia, and uh, we learned from Burl and Maggie and Sherman Hammonds, and Sherman played the banjo, and this is one of the tunes that we learned from him. This is called uh, Singing Bird. Thank you. 
But uh, we always think of uh, fine times at our house. So I'll play uh, two versions of fine times at our house. This first version was collected from James H. Chisholm of Greenwood, Virginia, right across the mountain. In fact, my parents lived in Greenwood for a year. And uh, this was recorded by NBC Radio in 1934. And this is his version of fine times at our house. Now let me do it on the right fiddle. to play one more fiddle tune for you here. This tune, Pete Vigor and I in Waynesboro went over to Stuart's draft and uh, learned and uh, listened to uh, Pug Allen play. Now Pete recently said no we went to visit Ed Weaver who was another fine fiddler in the area. So maybe some of your listeners can tell us who it was, which one of those fellows lived two doors down from the Meadow Muffin in Stuart's Draft, the old restaurant, the Meadow Muffin. <laughs> so, this is a tune, uh, heck, they might have written this thing called uh, Christmas Holiday. <laughs> is an awesome fiddle player and I hope he comes back sometime to be with us with his family. He plays in an old time family string band too. Right now Martha's going to do a Patsy Klein song for us. 
Patsy Cline was a great country singer in the 1950s, and she toured all over the place, but she had to be back in Nashville, Tennessee, every Saturday night to be on the Grand Old Opry. If you played at the Grand Old Opry, you had to be back there every Saturday night. Yeah. Here's a song called Walking After Midnight. Walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just like we used to do I'm always walking After midnight Searching for you Walk for miles Along the highway Well that's just my way Of saying I love you I'm always walking After midnight Searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. And as the skies turn gloomy, the night winds whisper to me, I'm as lonesome as I can be. Go out walking after midnight in the starlight, just like we used to do. I'm always walking. After midnight, searching for you. I stopped to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. And as the skies turn gloomy, the night winds whisper to me, I'm as lonesome as I can be. Go up walking after midnight, out in the starlight, just like we used to do. I'm always walking after midnight, searching for you. Good song, Walking After Midnight. I like that <laughs> song an awful song, lot. Yeah. This next song we're going to do, we're going to send out to Susan. It's a song called, I Overlooked an Orchard While Searching for a Grove. No, I think it's, I overlooked an orchid while searching for a rose, right? Well, if you're from around these parts, most of the people who do the jam songs call it, I overlooked an orchard while searching for a grove. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to sing that song, and it goes like this. The orchid is a flower that blooms so tenderly to thrill the fairest maidens of the land. And if placed beside a blushing rose, the rose could not compare. But how was I such a fool to understand? I overlooked an orchid while searching for a rose. The orchid that I overlooked was you. The rose that I was searching for has proved to be untrue. And the orchid now I find, my dear, was you. Now the rose has lost its color, but the orchid is the same. And I'm alone to face these lonely years. Well, I couldn't see the orchid, I was searching for. 
for a road. And now I pay the price with a bitter tear. I overlooked an orchid while searching for a rose. The orchid that I overlooked was you. The rose that I was searching for has proved to be untrue. And the orchid now I find, my dear, was you. And the orchard now I find my dear was you. And we'll be right back. Don't go away. This next segment we're going to do is about fiddle music. And I love fiddle music and always have. I always wanted to be the guitar player that fiddlers sought out at competitions to back them up on stage. And I think I spent more time on stage than most fiddle players did just backing them up. And we're going to start this segment with my father, Carl. In 2005, Carl and Yuva DuPoy were inducted into the America's Old Time Country Music Hall of Fame, and Carl was inducted into the Fiddler's Hall of Fame. He was born in 1929 to a musical family living on the family's homestead in Timberville, Virginia, and mountain music was always a part of his life. It was not long before he, too, was picking up the guitar and mandolin. His dad, Carl C. DuPont, was born in 1906, and by the 1930s was a regular performer on WSVA Radio's Valley Barn Dance, along with his nephew, Emery Stroop, and the Possum Hunters. Born in 1902, Stroopy, as fans knew him, was considered the best filler in the area. In May of 1930, they won the Virginia State Music Contest in Richmond. By 1940, they were recorded by Alan Lomax for the Library of Congress, along with Herb Smoke on banjo. Let's listen to Stroopy, Herb, and Carl play John Brown, Had a Little Indian. Contemporary to Don's father, our next Valley Fiddler, born in 1925, is Buck Ryan from Mount Jackson, Virginia. Of all the Valley Fiddlers, Buck is the most recognized out of the area. He was best known for his tenure with Don Reno and Red Smiley as part of the Tennessee Cut-Ups. Buck's tune honors the road that runs through the middle of the valley, Route 11. Here is that famous Lee Highway Blues. Also born in 1925 and Virginia's most decorated fiddler is Ed Michael. Born in Port Republic, Virginia on the family farm along the Shandor River where he still lives today. As renowned contest fiddler and grand champion, Ed has amassed over 165 ribbons and 50 trophies. He was asked to start judging competitions so others might have the opportunity to win. Here is a classic fiddle guitar duet, Ed and Spike Stroop and a valley favorite, Red Apple Rag. Herb Smoke was not only a great banjoist, he was also a master mountain fiddler. In 1940, Herb played with Don's grandfather, and in 1970, joined up with Don and Sam Glenn of Winchester, and formed the North Mountain Ramblers. Here's Green Mountain Polka from their 1973 album, Mountain Fiddler. Here's 
here's a bonus. In 1948, Don's father and grandfather and his aunt Thelma recorded Down Yonder. Here's a clip of that recording, and Don and Martha will finish out this traditional family song. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. Mountain Music is funded in part by the Stanton Lions Club, Massanutten Resort, the Mid-Atlantic's premier four-season resort destination. Visit the Frontier Culture Museum, the living history story of colonial life on the American frontier. And by Creative Cause Solutions and Bluestone Fabrics. National Endowment for the Arts, Virginia Tourism Corporation, and the Virginia Commission for the Arts. And everyone knows Virginia is for lovers of mountain music. The Shenandoah Music Trail is your perfect music getaway. Music, jams, concerts, driving tours, insider suggestions, a variety of accommodations, and so much more. Your mountain music adventure awaits. It's ShenandoahMusicTrail.com or call us at 540-209-3540. Sing your way back home and don't forget to bring your instrument.